I know, I know, Tutus are so 2010, Black Swan is over, and Carrie Bradshaw has long made her tutu wearing debut on our television set. But if you're feeling ballet chic like everybody else this season, I'm here to show you how you could potentially wear a tool skirt in two different ways. I really hope that you enjoy the fun out of wearing something that can either A, make you feel like a princess, or B, a four year old. The tool skirts have had an interesting evolution, starting with the romantic tutus first in 1832, fast forward to the 90s we had Carrie Bradshaw and 2010 we had Natalie Portman. Tutus immediately invoke images of gracefulness and images of ballerinas floating effortlessly across the stage. But it's those layers of tulle that gets our hearts racing, whether in skirts or dresses that seem made for dancing, tulle is everything this season, so prepare for your own curtain calls. For the first look, it's what I call the punk rock chic. It's very edgy, it's very young, it's out there and it's wild. And I use this styling, a leather barker jacket and a pair of red Doc Martin inspired boots. So this is one way of wearing a tool skirt. And as you can see, I use a tool skirt for layering purposes. I just put on a skirt over it. The leather jacket is still there, but it's in a different detail form. It's quilted, it's got chain detail, and I substituted the boots with pointy heels, added a clutch bag, and added lip color to the look to complete it. This is something that you can wear to a formal function, like a wedding or tea out with the girls. So it's simply fabulous. Look for lengths that are mid-cuff or just below the knees. That will make sure that it's not too short, not too long, and you remain poised and classy. What do you think of tutus? Do you think that they're childish and should only be worn by toddlers or professional ballerinas? Share your thoughts through Twitter, hashtag the link. That's it for this week, fashion style and trends according to Jerry. Now back to studio with Lorato K.